Eurozone crisis to dominate Cameron talks with Merkel. UK Prime Minister David Cameron is to hold talks with German Chancellor Angela Merkel to try to resolve tensions over the Eurozone crisis. They have been pressing for action to stabilize the euro as Italy and Greece implement austerity measures. Germany is pressing for closer eurozone integration, but the UK says there must be safeguards for European Union states which do not use the single currency. And the UK is resisting calls for financial transaction tax in the European Union. Mr. Cameron first the European Council President Herman van Rompuy and European Commission President Jos Manuel Barroso in Brussels on Friday before flying to Berlin. In a statement, they said Mr. Barroso and Prime Minister had agreed on the importance of prioritizing the decisive action needed to ensure the stability of the euro area as well as the fast-tracking measures to stimulate growth and jobs. It also stressed the central importance of further developing the single market to deliver its full growth potential, a key issue for the UK should Eurozone countries choose to integrate further. Reporters said some of the Chancellor Merkel's MPs have criticized Britain for not supporting Europe in its hour of need. Natalie Wood, Los Angeles Police reopen actress death inquiry. Police in the U.S. have reopened an inquiry into the death of film star Natalie Wood, who drowned in 1981. Los Angeles police said they had received new information relating to the case, but have not given details. Wood was found dead during a boat trip off the coast of California, and her death was ruled to have been an accident at the time. She was 43. Best known for her roles in West Side Story and Rebel Without a Cause, she was nominated for an Oscar three times. She won numerous other awards too. Syria to accept Arab League monitoring mission. Syria has confidentially accepted an Arab League plan to send mission to observe the implementation proposals aimed at ending violence, a Syrian diplomatic source has told reporters. The source who wished to remain unnamed said Damascus has already informed the League of the decision. The source said a few adjustments were being worked out, but they were not designed to hinder the mission. The League on Wednesday gave Syria three days to agree or to face sanctions. The Arab League plan, drawn up earlier this month, calls on Syria to withdraw tanks from rescue cities, cease its attacks on protesters, and engage in dialogue with the opposition within two weeks. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad agreed to the plan, but failed to honor it. We were surprised that they had already prepared a document which obviously came from American orders. And they were asked to produce this document because Syria's positive response surprised them and their masters in America and the West. Obama meets Indian Prime Minister Manmohan Singh at summit. Indian Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and U.S. President Barack Obama have met on the sidelines of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN summit. This is the first meeting between the two leaders since Mr. Obama visited India a year ago. Mr. Singh said India had gone some way to respond to the concerns of U.S. companies with a nuclear liability law. The U.S. agreed a landmark energy deal with India in 2008, but since then U.S. Prime private firms have struggled. The U.S. sees India's new nuclear liability law as too high on nuclear plant suppliers which has made it hard for U.S. firms to compete with their state-owned French and Russian competitors. Under the law, the government-owned operator of the nuclear plant can go to court in the event of an accident and force suppliers of material, equipment or services to pay compensation if negligence is established. U.S. companies fear these sums could be huge. We'll move on to the business world. In the last five years, 
we have strengthened in many ways the path that you set up in your historic visit and whether it is in civil nuclear cooperation, whether it is in humanitarian relief and disaster management, maritime security, all these are issues which unite us in our quest for a world free from the fear of war, want and exploitation. With these words, I once again thank you for giving me this opportunity to meet with you and that is something which the people of India value a great deal, the fun, the goodwill that you have shown in your presidency is something we deeply appreciate. Thank you very much. This will be an uh, outstanding opportunity for us to continue to uh, explore how we can work together, uh, not only on bilateral issues, but also uh, in multilateral forum, like the East Asia Summit, uh, which we believe can be uh, the premier uh, arena for uh, us to be able to work together on a wide range of issues, such as maritime security or non-proliferation, uh, as well as expanding uh, kind of cooperation on disaster relief. Boeing bags biggest order with dollars 21.7 billion line air deal. <music> Boeing has bagged its biggest commercial order after signing a deal worth dollars 21.7 billion with Indonesian airline Line Air. Indonesia's largest private carrier has placed an order for 230 short-haul 737 planes. The deal includes an option for another 150 aircraft worth an estimated cost of $14 billion. It comes just days after Boeing announced a deal to sell 50 of its 777 jets to Emirates Airlines for a list price of $18 billion. The U.S. plane maker said Line Air order when finalized would be its largest ever by both dollar volume and total number of airplanes. The robust growth of Asian economies in recent years has been the rise of a more affluent middle class in the region. With higher disposable incomes, consumers have been spending more and there has been an increased demand for air travel in the region. Analysts said the huge order by Line Air was an indication that the region will be the main driver of growth in the coming years. Welcome to the world of science. IPCC, climate impact, risk set to increase. The risk from the extreme weather events is likely to increase if the world continues to warm, says scientists. A report by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change said it was very likely that emissions had led to an increase in daily maximum temperatures. It added that the emissions had also led some regions experiencing longer and more intense droughts. The findings of special report were presented at the IPCC's 34th session, which is being held in Kampala, Uganda. The details were outlined during a media briefing by the co-chairman overseeing the compilation of two of the three segments of next IPCC assessment report. Introducing the summary for policymakers of the special report on managing the risk of extreme events and disasters to avoid its climate change adaptation, IPCC chairman Rajendra Pachuri said, it underlines the complexity and diversity of factors that are shaping human vulnerability to extremes. And in sports! In feline agility events, the biggest obstacle can be the catch. It is a sport in which the contestants sometimes lie down in the middle of the field, unmotivated and bemused. Feline agility competitions in which cats run through a miniature obstacle course full of hurdles and tunnels have become fixtures on the cat show scene. 
Modeled after canine agility competitions, the tournaments feature a ring in which cat owners, some of whom have trained their pets from kittenhood, brandish a feather or sparkly wand to try to coax a cat to climb stairs, weave around poles and leap through the hoops in as little time as possible. Some cats stare through the course in seconds. Others make it clear to the eager onlookers that they could not care less. You want to get the cat focus on the toy, said Anthony Hutcherson, who raises a Bengal cat in Port Tobacco, and whose oldest cat Justin has run the course in nine seconds. Cats will pretty much chase a feather on a string anywhere. So, we know we are all vow to chaste living, honest living. So, before we close today's bulletin of news analysis, let's have a recap of the main points. Aung San Suu Kyi to stand for parliament in Burma. Italy Prime Minister Mario Monti is set for a second conference vote. The blatter says sorry for comments on racism. Neutrino experiment repeated and CERN finds the same result. Philippines court issues Gloria Arroyo arrest warrant. Indian elephants, Karnataka move put on hold. And then we end today's bulletin of news analysis. Be with us in the coming weeks too. Thank you.